Hey guys, Alex Brinkman with Green Tree Media here, and today I wanted to show you a new plugin that I built for the Divi theme called uh, the Divi Date Time Picker. And it's a mobile friendly and lightweight date time picker for Divi. The cool thing is it doesn't introduce any new confusing modules or anything. It actually just loads in a lightweight JavaScript that allows you to use Divi's normal contact form builder um, and use the normal text input and then turn those into date pickers or time pickers if you want. And I'll show you how it works. I'll show you a couple quick examples and then I'll show you how easy it is to set up and use on your own website. So um, here's kind of the quick overview of how it works. Basically you just add a normal Divi contact form module to a page and then you add the st a standard text input just like if you were asking for somebody's name on a form it's the same step same type of input just a normal text input and then in the field ID you just write date picker or time picker and that's all you have to do and it will either give you a date picker or a time picker and there's other things you can do to customize it and I'll go into that in just a second but in a nutshell that's really all there is to it so let's take a look at some examples here um, actually I'll show you the features <laughs> Um, so you can do a minimum date or a maximum date, meaning people can't choose dates before the minimum date or choose dates after the maximum date. You can set it to only allow dates after today, so whatever day that is that people are viewing it, they won't be able to choose a date in the past, so everything that they can choose will have to be forward. Um, you can allow people to choose a date range, so a kind of a, a grouping of dates if you'd like. You can change the date format option to pretty much anything that you would like whatever that makes sense for your users um, of your website. And you can even embed the date picker uh, right into the page instead of using that little floating one, um, which I'll show you here in a second. And then of course the time picker features minimum time, maximum time. So let's say you have a minimum time of set to 8 a.m. People can't choose a time before that. So this is great if you want people to choose a certain time between maybe 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. when your business is open or your client's business is open. You can set it to 24 hour time if that makes sense for your users. Uh, and then of course you can adjust the hour increment or the minute increment when they're choosing time. So maybe you want them to choose time in 30 minute blocks or maybe five minute blocks or 15, whatever. Um, you can totally customize that. So let's take a look at a couple of, of uh, examples here. Here's our basic date picker. And when I click on it, you'll see we get a nice floating calendar here where I can jump back, jump forward, choose my dates. By default, this is the format that the plugin uses. Um, it's a pretty universal format, but not everybody may like this, so you can, you can customize this, and I'll show you how to do that once we get uh, past these examples here. Um, so only allow dates after today. So I click it, today's the 19th of August, 2018, so I can't choose any previous dates. Um, I can set a minimum date. So in this example, uh, I've got the minimum date set to June 10th, 2018. So if I click it, here's today, and if I jump back to June, I can't go past the 10th. I can, everything before that's grayed out, I can't even go back using the months. And the same thing set with the maximum date. So in this example, the maximum date's June 10th, 2019. And if I jump ahead, you'll see that June 10th is the last date that I can select in the future month or the next month arrow is not here anymore. Um, date range, uh, you can allow people to choose a range of dates here, so maybe you know the 13th, 14th through the 19th. And again, we can change this, uh, this format here. And easier to read dates, so if I click on this and click August 23rd, now you'll see that we have 23 August 2018. And we can change this to whatever, it doesn't have to be this format, we can customize this on the settings page. Um, and then here's the uh, embedded in uh, the calendar embedded in line right in here. So um, if you prefer to just always have the calendar showing, that's an option as well. And again, this is all just using um, the Divi uh, date time picker plugin alongside the standard Divi contact form module. So it's using what Divi already has, and then just bringing in some JavaScript to kind of extend the functionality of it, which makes it extremely flexible. Um, and I think it'll be a, a it'll be hard to to break it, I guess, or for things to go wrong. I think it'll be easier to to kind of roll with Divi as it advances. I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, here's our time picker, just a basic time picker. It starts in 12-hour format, but we can change this to 24, and you'll see that we have a.m., p.m., and then of course our minutes. By default, the hour increments are one one hours at one hour at a time. 
and the minutes are five minutes at a time. But again, this can be changed. Uh, here's a minimum time with an example of 8 a.m. as the earliest time. And so if I try to select past 8 a.m., I can't. Even if I come in here and I try to write something like 5 a.m., it still just leaves it at 8 a.m. And the same with the max time. This one's set to 5 p.m. And you'll notice I can't go past 5 p.m. And then 24-hour time. If you prefer to have it in 24-hour time, uh, the plugin can do that as well. And then here's where we can change the minute increments. So right now they're set to 30-minute blocks at a time. And then, of course, the hours. I've got it set to two-hour increments. So you can totally customize that. You can change it so maybe the hours are you know, two hours and the minutes are a half because maybe your workshops take two and a half hours or whatever it is you're booking. Um, so you can totally have flexibility with that. Um, and then here's where you can kind of combine the features. And this is where things really kind of start to get interesting, I guess. You can take a date range using friendly dates and only allow dates starting today. So I'm only allowed dates starting today. And I'm doing a date range of maybe the 4th through the 14th and 4 September 2018 to 14 September 2018. So uh, you can completely change what this looks like, but it just looks a little nicer than the kind of universal date structure. And again, here's a time picker that won't let me choose before 8 or after 5. So I can only go down to 8. And I can go only go up to 5 on this end. So that's kind of just some basic examples. Let's get into it. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to set everything up. So let's jump over here to the, the time picker settings page. There's really only two options, the nice date format that you want to use. Um, and if you're not familiar with these tokens, they're used pretty much throughout WordPress. I know Divi uses them as well. Um, but the tokens that you want to refer to are here. And I'll go ahead and open this up in a new tab. And here's kind of where they are, very similar to the PHP ones. There is, I think, a, a little bit of difference in them. But um, if you want to display you know, just abbreviated words or the full words, and you've got a lot of different options here to put together your own custom string that you want to use. And then for localization, I've got uh, about 50 different translations in here. Um, so there should be something that um, makes sense to your users uh, of your website and, and gives you a lot of flexibility there. But those are really the only two options. I plan on expanding this out later as I kind of come up with more use, case for, use cases for it and more kind of creative things that the plugins can do. I'll probably build some other stuff here. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and jump over to the Visual Builder side of things, and I'll show you exactly how these function here. Um, so if I scroll down here, so here's our basic date picture or picker, and if I click on our module settings, we're just in the normal contact form, Divi's normal contact form, and all this is, if I go down to field options, is just a normal input. Again, just like if you were going to create a form and ask somebody for the subject line of an email or for their name or something like that. And it's just a regular input field. And then in the ID, that's where we just write date picker to get a normal date picker. Or we can write time picker if we want a time picker. And that will give you the basic uh, picker functionality. And then after that, it's just a matter of stringing these other options together. So for start today, to only allow dates after today, I want to use the underscore start today. So if I actually look at this contact field, you'll see that it's date picker underscore start today. So again, we have to have date picker in there just to initialize it. And then underscore followed by whatever the option is that we're adding. And you'll see that's the pretty common pattern for all of these. It's underscore and then the name of the option. So underscore start today for that. For the minimum and maximum date, it's just a little bit different in the sense that you just write underscore min date and then actually put the date uh, in this format. It has to be in this universal format. But um, so this one here that has a minimum date of June 10th, 2018 is literally just date picker underscore min date 2018-06-10. And likewise, for our maximum date, date picker underscore max date 2019-06-10. And that's all there is to it. And you can combine mul multiples of these options together to create some pretty unique forms. So like for here's date range, just date picker underscore date range, and that will enable the range functionality. Um, if I scroll down here to where we have some things kind of combined, 
I'll show you this one because this one's kind of interesting. So it's date picker, underscore date range for a date range, underscore today so that the dates start today. And then, oh, nice date US, we'll just do nice date. That was another feature that I, I originally set it so you could do it for the US, but then added the custom feature. That way people can create whatever strings that they want. So I'll do nice date and I'll go ahead and save that. And then actually if we jump over here to our uh, date picker page, let me refresh it and scroll down. It should take advantage of the uh, custom the uh, custom format that we set up on the settings page there. So uh, here it is. So I'll just do the 23rd through the 24th. Yeah, see, so Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018 to Friday, August 24th, 2018. So a lot of stuff that you can do. That's really kind of the bulk of it. Um, the only other distance or, or difference is for the min time and the max time. It's similar to the dates, except for instead of the format that you need to use is hour, hour, minute, minute. And I think I break it down up here. Yeah, max time, hour, hour, minute, minute. So for 5 p.m., and again, you always do it in military time or 24-hour time, 1,700. 8 a.m. is 0,800. And then um, for the increment, you just write for the minutes MN step followed by a number, however many MN for minutes, so however many minutes you want the steps to be. Or for the hours, HR for hour, hour step followed by an integer. Um, and then that will, the, the plugin will take care of the rest. So that's really all there is to it. Um, if you get stuck, let me know. There is an FAQ that has a couple of the uh, more basic questions that I get asked or more common questions um, on here. You can have, obviously, as many different date pickers on a page as you want. I think this one has 14 or 15 different date, pa date pickers on it and time pickers. So it's definitely flexible to meet whatever your needs are. It's, it's very fast to load in. Um, and if you have any other ideas for it or any other use cases that you thought might be pretty cool that maybe you might need on a, a, a project, let me know because I'm always interested in creating kind of custom um, solutions and, and expanding things to, to really help people and meet people's needs. So um, I appreciate your time. Uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. And happy building, guys.